so here in Central Texas, we're not blessed with much rain during the summertime. Uh, so we we cut our grass, or I cut my grass, uh, a lot in really dry and dusty conditions. However, uh, we've had a, a tropical storm or a, a, a hurricane uh, hitting the Gulf Coast, which has pushed a lot of rain up into our area. You know, that's 700 miles away, but it, but it still has, has affected our weather here. So for the last... Um, I guess probably six days or so. We've had a lot of on and off rain, um, a lot of rain in the evenings, and I haven't cut the grass in a week. So um, the the skag doesn't doesn't uh, ever have any problems with that dry grass. You've seen me cut really tall, thick grass with it. Um, don't ever get any clumping with this grass or, or with or with the mower, mostly because it's it's really dry. I, I haven't really tested it with uh, with any wet grass, but uh, today will be a really good test to see um, if this grass does indeed clump or if this mower uh, causes any clumping. So I'm going to get it blown off. We're going to cut some grass and, and see how well it does in really wet, saturated, soggy conditions. So I don't know how well you could see that. Um, obviously, it's not all perfect turf grass. There were a few weeds and some flowers and things like that sticking up through it. Um, got a very, very minor amount of, of clumping. I'll take you over and show you what I'm talking about. Through some of this really tall grass, and of course you can see that some of it sticks up quite a bit more, and that's where we're gonna get that clumping, these little shoots of grass that pop up um, those are the ones that are going to um, you know they're, they're just not going to mulch because I'm, I'm discharging but um, let me see if I can find uh, some of the spots where it was the worst uh, yeah so like right in here getting a little bit of this stuff that just didn't get mulched underneath the deck because one it's wet and two it's really tall so um, that didn't cut absolutely perfectly, but, um, as you can tell out here, we don't have a, a perfect lawn, uh, to begin with. So, uh, I'm going to step back and shoot some of this next.
So I was mowing over here next to my wood pile next to the woods. I came across something. Of course, I don't go too far in here with the, the mower because it, uh, it doesn't do very well. But um, I ran across something that I've been missing for a long time, my gigantic blue channel locks. So we're, uh, we're going to go ahead and take those back up to the rhino. And uh, we're going to cut some of this grass over here. This is, uh, let me focus real quick. This grass here, I, um, I cut it about every third time that I cut the front yard over there. So it's a lot thinner grass. It doesn't grow up quite as thick, um, but it grows long. And so it's real long and wispy. And so if, if anything's gonna clump, I think this stuff is probably gonna clump uh, the worst. So we'll, um, we'll get some footage cutting this stuff and see how well it does. So I intentionally missed um, this strip right here because I wanted to show you guys the results of me cutting everything back towards itself. I was shooting all my clippings back toward the center because uh, I wanted to, to cut over those clippings again um, to show you guys how much clumping did or did not happen and there, and there just wasn't a whole lot. Now you, you can tell that this is, this is thin here. Um, there are lots of, lots of rocks and bare spots and things like that. But the grass was really tall and it was all wet. So um, just didn't get much clumping uh, like I expected. So again, I cut all this grass in on, on, on top of itself. 
uh, to see what kind of clumping uh, situation we would have. And um, there is a little bit, I mean, it's not much, just grass clippings. This was tall and wet stuff. This is a, about as big a clump as I'm gonna get um, with this stuff. I mean, it's not completely saturated out here, but um, this, this spot gets a little bit more sun. This, this grass was nice and green and, and thick. So um, <clears throat> I figured I would just cut it all in on top of itself and show you guys uh, the clumping that I got. And it's, it's just not, <clears throat> not enough to be concerned with, especially on uh, the type of grass that we have out here. So uh, still, again, really impressed with the skag. One of the things that I did notice as I was getting on and off of it was the grass building up. Uh, really, really wet grass and dust uh, on the front of the mower. So I can only imagine uh, what the underside of this thing looks like. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go spray the deck off uh, with just a water hose and uh, see if I can't uh, clean all that stuff out. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Uh, not too bad. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of clumping that happened under there, but we'll um, we'll spray that out with a hose. Get that fixed, no problem. So I washed out underneath the deck of the uh, mower. Of course, I knew it was gonna have lots of dust and clippings and, and uh, just a, a bunch of grass um, mush in there um, just because of how wet it was. But this was all underneath the deck. And of course, you know, you have several pounds of this um, grass clippings and, and mud and, and moisture up underneath the deck, it's, it's really going to affect uh, the airflow and the cut quality. So uh, really good idea to get underneath your deck, get that cleaned out really, really well. Otherwise, all this, all this old grass, these grass clippings, where obviously you want this discharged out because all this, all this uh, organic material actually creates more fertilizer and nitrates for the lawn, makes it, makes it nice and green. As this decomposes, it's gonna it's gonna do your lawn wonders. You want this spread out all over the lawn, not clumped up underneath your deck. So um, obviously, I cut the grass when it was too wet today, but it's just gonna keep raining. So a um, good idea to get underneath the, the your mower, um, clean out underneath the deck, just because this this will um, this will reduce the amount of airflow underneath the the deck. It'll reduce the amount of lift. So as the as the the deck is. Uh, going over the top of your grass, it's not lifting that grass up and cutting it off uh, as well as it as it could be. So uh, these these decks on these mowers are all designed optimally for just the right amount of airflow. Some manufacturers do it better than others, um, but this this clumping underneath the deck and and it gets it creates these little pockets of of um, of air. That, that don't circulate the way the deck is designed and you end up with <clears throat> a less than optimal 
cut quality. So make sure you get underneath the deck, clean that out uh, occasionally. I, I try to do it every few cuts, um, especially after you've cut wet grass uh, because it, it will clump up.